A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of your listeners. Welcome back to your own channel and seek the soul that truth lies within. And for those who have come for the first time, you can check out the link down below. And in that playlist, you can find out about depression, you can find out about diet plans, you can find out about health, you can find out about yoga asanas, chair exercises and many, many more different topics have been discussed there. You go ahead and check out that link down below and also share it with others if you like it. So let's go ahead with today's blessing, 232nd day of a Godly blessing. Let's find out what Baba has to say today. So Baba says, may you achieve success in every action with your knowledgeful, powerful and loveful form and become an embodiment of success. Let's explore these three forms. Baba says, when you serve with your words, let your thoughts be powerful. I can't be thinking negative. I can't be thinking, am I right? What I'm saying, is it powerful? Is it good enough for others? I cannot be thinking all these things and then talking about something because that won't have the force or the power of thoughts or the vibrations. So when you serve with your words, let your thoughts be powerful. Change the thoughts of others with your thoughts. That is, control their minds with your mind. Take them in the right direction, in the pure and powerful direction. <clears throat> Only with your powerful thoughts can you do that. That is, control their minds with your mind and by giving them light and might with words. So thoughts, control their minds with your mind means to guide them, direct them. And then with your powerful words, give them light and might. Give them power to accept because people are surrounded by negativity in this world. And many people are searching for those souls who can guide them, who can show them the direction, who don't elevate the problems, who don't go deeper into why it's happening, but they show them the direction, they show them the light, they show them the solution in life. Then Baba says, by giving them light and might with words, make them knowledgeful. Giving them spiritual knowledge helps them to overcome the situations. The questions of why this ha has happened to me, why these people are doing this thing to me, why my situation is like this. All those answers are there in the spiritual knowledge, in the spiritual essence of this knowledge. So with your actions, that is with your connections and entertaining activities, give them an experience of a real family. That yes, during tough times also, you can be happy, you can be joyful. That can be shown through this. So then Baba says, when you perform every action while being stable in all three forms, you will automatically become an embodiment of success. So thoughts, words and actions. Thoughts should be taking them in the right direction. Words should be giving them light and might. And your actions should be entertaining. It doesn't mean you become a clown or you start dancing around. But your actions are so lighter, are so refreshing that other people are like, wow, it's so easy to do it. Wow, it's so nice to do it. I didn't see that this can be done this way. I didn't see that this method can be used to make things lighter. So make it lighter. Don't make it feel like it's a very heavy thing. So if you see somebody working very hard and they make it very heavy, people don't want to do it. So this is a very easy method. God wants us to follow it. So this is what you can apply in your daily life and everything, whether it's your business, whether it's your family, whether it's your cooking, whether it's your cleaning your house, whether it is cleaning yourself, taking bath, whether it is taking care of yourself physically or mentally, everything you can portray it as an action of ease with your thoughts, words and actions. So I leave you with this beautiful blessing. If you have any suggestions, if you have any comments, do put them in the description box down below in the comment box and have a blessed day. Om Shanti.